Hi everyone, my name is Dan Collins. Today I'll be going over how you can reformat a document from SAP using Compueo Leo, then using SAP protocol to send that reformatted document securely back into SAP, as well as Compueo Archiver. First, I just wanted to go over briefly uh, Compueo Leo. Um, now, Leo is a business document form redesign solution used to modernize, enrich, and improve ERP output such as PDFs and graphics full files. Layout directly accesses existing business documents and forms created by various systems such as SAP, IBM, iSeries, Unix, or Windows. It improves their content and quality by adding elements such as barcodes, images, tables, text, etc. The final business document can be distributed securely by mail, fax, email, or web services. And changes can be technical, like embedding a new barcode, adding terms and conditions, inserting a Chinese description column into a table of items, or sorting and numbering pages. Changes can be strategic as well, such as invoicing electronically, or securing PDF purchase orders posted on a vendor's website. As you can see here, we got Compile uh, way out opened up. I'm going to show you the secure connection within SAP. Right here is here's our login information to SAP. And here's all the different outputs. We're working out of LP01 right here. Here's all the different users, users and the documents they've been working on. Select this one just to show you. This is just a generic form here. We're going to be working off of a purchase order, a pre-selected purchase order. I have that opened up over here. So as you can see, this purchase order is kind of dull. It's missing uh, some colors. It could use a barcode that we're talking about, maybe an image of the company. All that can be added from up here within the navigator. A selection of different barcodes, images, if you have a pre-selected image that you'd like to use, uh, text zone, external text zone, you can create some tables, some lines, rectangles, etc. all within this up here. And we're going to scroll down to show you the original view of the document. As you can see, as a whole, it's kind of plain. Over here, we have um, this enabled, the save a copy in SAP, as well as an archiver. That you just right-click to disable and, or to enable. And then we click into the final view. You can see the, uh, the updates that I've added. Our logo, the barcode. Some information just a little more clearly formatted. Another barcode within the description of the material. And if we go back over to the template, see so it has many different pages. So you just get a better idea of it can work with uh, any size document. All right, and uh, the next step is uh, we're just going to run the template. Okay, let's take a second longer. All right, so now that that's been run, I'm going to show you within SAP that it's saved the copy there. And we're going to search search for it. The file name is me23. I've already entered the purchase order number here, as you can see. And here's the purchase order within SAP. Now I'm going to go into the attachment list. And see, there's been a few updates to it today. I'm going to go ahead and open this to show you.
Here it is within SAP. And next up, we're going to show you that it's also been saved to Archiver. One moment, I'm just going to delete that. Run the template. All right, and I'm going to go on the Internet Explorer. And right here, we're going to search for documents. There it is. It's just a general search. You can see that the most updated, the latest version, you can see the date here. Here's the purchase number. I'm going to select that. And here's the updated purchase order within Archiver. See all the changes again. So it's securing both within Archiver as well as SAP. That's all I had to show you guys today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to send us an email or give us a call. Uh, thanks for joining us. Have a great day.